Hey guys, this is Kayla with Becky's Graphic Design in Nashville, Tennessee. We are a book design company working out of Mount Juliet. And in order to make our book design process more efficient, I often try to come up with new ways to make things go faster. I was recently working on a project that required the headers of each section to cycle through different colors, and it took a long time to manually apply character styles to each of the characters in a paragraph style. I did some research and learned that you can achieve the same thing using nests and styles inside of your main paragraph style. So let's go ahead and explore this option. First things first, let's draw a text box and put some text in it. Now that we have some text, let's make a new style. Let's go over to the Paragraph Styles tab. I'm gonna click here, and we are going to make a new paragraph, clicking the little icon here. Let's rename this something that we know what it is. Let's call this Cyclical Color Change. So we need to travel over here to the section on the side called uh, Nested Styles. We're not going to worry about drop caps. What we're interested in is this section that's called Nested Styles. I'm going to click New Nested Style. I'm going to tell it to make a new character style called, I don't know, let's say blue. And I'm going to go to Character Color and assign a blue color. Hit OK. And now we want this blue character style to be applied through not one one word, but one character. Okay, now we need to make another nested style. This is going to be the second alteration of color in the style. I've already made a couple of other character styles, so let's choose the one that I made called green. This is just a character style that has the color green assigned to it. We want this also to be applied to a character and not a word. And we're gonna add a third one. I'm gonna assign the one that I made earlier called red. And we're going to assign that through one character. If we hit okay, and now apply that paragraph style to this text, we will see that the first three characters of this line are now cycling through colors. But why does it not repeat through the whole thing? Let's go back to our paragraph style, and we're going to make some edits to this that will make it repeat throughout the whole thing. So let's travel back to the nested styles section. And what we're looking for is a new nested style called repeat. This option is right here at the top. And we want this to repeat through the last three styles because that is how many uh, colors we have cycling through. And this number would change according to how many cycles of color you are changing through. If you have seven colors, then make this say seven. If you have five, make it say five. Okay. Now that we have that set, let's hit okay. And now we should see the color alternating through the entire line. Now spaces are counted as alternating colors. As you can see here, we have blue, green, red. Blue, green, red. And then this space is actually blue, green, red. So that is maybe a slight downfall to this method if you are needing only the characters and not the spaces themselves to have coloration on them. But in general, it does get that effect across of having a striated color through the whole line and with a much easier way than manually applying character styles to each one. Okay guys, I hope that helped. I hope to see you next time and go ahead and like and subscribe and comment on the video. It really helps us out. We're almost to a thousand subscribers, so thank you guys so much for that. All right, I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.